Hi there, Mike Giannotti here for Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. And I'm here to talk to you today about Microsoft Copilot in PowerPoint. Very excited about it because I use it all the time. I actually just used it on a presentation that I'm doing Monday for a lot of colleagues. And I'm gonna show you how you can use it to save all kinds of time in the formation of your PowerPoints. So with that in mind, let's head on over to our other screen. Um, before we get started, I did wanna highlight that we have a blog site where you can find myself and all my colleagues um, in healthcare and life sciences at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. And that's around all technology Microsoft related as it is related to healthcare and life sciences. So take a look there, have your colleagues take a look, add it to your favorites and check back frequently. All right, so with that in mind, let's see what we got on tap for today. So what we're gonna do in our walkthrough here is number one, we are gonna create a new presentation, see how we can do one from scratch. And we're gonna do it two separate ways. We'll take a look at those. Um, then we're also gonna take a look at a couple of iterations within that, including but not limited to summarizing the presentation we've created. So perhaps we wanna hand it off to somebody you want to create a summary, high-level summary, you can drop into an email as an example. We're going to see how we can organize a presentation so it'll have, you know, a little bit better organization for presentation, especially in a large one. And that'll be our second of the two we create. And then finally, uh, the last thing that we're going to do is actually a third iteration of creation, seeing how we can use organization branding with Copilot. In other words, templates. So with that in mind, let's jump out of here. And this should look pretty familiar. Microsoft PowerPoint. So I want to create a new presentation here. And I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna copy, I've got some text here. There we go. We're gonna go up here to the taskbar and you can see here is Copilot. I'm gonna select that. It's gonna open up the, uh, Copilot bar here on the right hand side, and it gives me a couple of suggestions. Number one, create a presentation, which we're about to do. Create a presentation from a file. That's going to be our second one. We can also add a slide about something. Uh, but we're going to go in here and say we want to create a presentation. Just so you know, too, you can always come in here to the view prompt, you know, to view more prompts. And you can see particular ones here and they give some examples. I can also view additional ones here, uh, extract key information, stay on track, get design help, et cetera. All features built within here. But I want to create a presentation about how Microsoft 365 Copilot and the Microsoft Viva Suites can reduce employee burnout while increasing employee job satisfaction and increasing employee job retention. Now, typically I would fumble through a lot of back and forth and finding images and themes and pictures and blah, blah, blah. And I'd be here for an hour or more trying to do that. But what I'm gonna do is simply click send. And it's gonna go out here in my organization, looking at the Microsoft graph or the information that would lead to that, it's gonna build out its kind of topical list that's gonna uh, translate into slides here. It's gonna theme it, add pictures. It's even gonna provide me with slide notes for each of the slides that it builds. And there we go, this is a fairly short one. And you can see it says, okay, here we go. A presentation has been created. If you'd like help, I can rewrite the slides or you can use designer to adjust layout. So here we go. We have, it's a fairly short one, simplify work with Microsoft 365 Copilot. If you open this up, you can see we have slide notes that have been provided here and here and here and here. So we have slide notes on each. It has a theme, right, with consistent look and feel. All that's been done quickly on the fly just by giving it a prompt. Once I've done that, there are a couple of additional things I can do. So for example, maybe right here, I might wanna click add a slide about. So what do we wanna add a slide about? 
oh, I don't know, how Microsoft Copilot can especially um, make PowerPoint slide deck creation simple and fast. There we go. So I'll hit that. And we've, you know, given it some additional instructions to create an additional slide. It's going to look things over there. And there we go. It's added an additional slide, effortless PowerPoint slide creation. It's got some bullet points around that. And of course, it's got slide notes and it uses this consistent theme right here uh, within it. And of course, I can always select designer and then it'll give me some of options within uh, that particular theme slash template. So there you go. We've been able to come in and do a number of activities pretty quickly. Uh, lastly, we might want to, you know, for one of the activities people get asked about a lot is, hey, what if I need to add an image, right? And I want it to help me with that. So here I've added an additional slide, a blank one, and I can just ask it what I want. And so let's say I want to have, um, add a picture of a woman with a wearing sunglasses riding a bike. There we go. So now it's going to go out. It's looking at my query. It's looking for suitable content. Um, pull that together, and there we go. So I have now, there's a nice image. It's pulled together for me. And of course, you know, I can't elect to go ahead and choose something different from designer. They're looking all pretty much the same. So I'll just keep those. And now I'm ready to continue to move on. Now that's doing it from scratch from a prompt. But what about other things that we can do here? Leveraging Copilot. Maybe I already have content that I want to generate a presentation from. I don't know. Maybe there's a large document that's been written about it. So let's go ahead and we, in this case, are going to, we're going to make a new one. So let's say new and blank. And here we go. And again, now we have a document perhaps that we want to give a presentation on. And I, I had not too long ago an attendee to my, one of my presentations from a customer ask about a blog post they had written. And we took that blog post, I quickly copied it, dropped it into Word, and dumped that Word doc into my OneDrive, and we pointed to that. And it generated a great presentation out of that. Well, we're going to do something similar. So I'm going to come in here. Again, we're opening up. And one of the provided options out of the box was create presentation from a file. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I can start to free type. I don't know if it's going to pull it. Um, I've been using a bunch of other documents. So let's go ahead and actually just browse to. I want to take this one, this Microsoft AI white paper. Age of Intelligence, so I want to grab the link, copy, beautiful. Now I'm going to come on back here, and I'm just going to put instead right after that forward slash, I'm going to paste the URL, and we're going to send that. And now it's going to look at this large, this is actually a 45-page document, so large document. Um, and based upon that document, it's running through. I can't do that right now. Well, yes, you can. So let's go ahead, do this again. Give it that. And send it. So sometimes you do have to, uh, you know, here we go. Full transparency. This is real time. Production. We're still early in Copilot, but it's going to go out now. It's looking for it. It's finding it. 
And then based upon that file, it's going to start to generate bullet points. And here and now it's saying it's drafting the presentation. So it's going to start to create, and you can see the bullet points are starting now, based upon this 45-page document that I don't have time to read through, but I need to present on or perhaps create a presentation for somebody that I want to hand to them. So it's going through creating all those bullet points, and each one of those bullet points is in turn going to be a slide that's going to be themed, have images as appropriate. It's going to be laid out. It's also going to have slide notes and a reference to where or to the content that it pulled the ideas for that particular slide right within the slide notes itself. So now you can see it says it's generating the slides, doing that right here. And it should be done in just a moment. It picks up steam, starts off, it looks a little slow, and then brrr, starts to pick up steam and go. And we're going to see those start to pop up just about now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so it's starting, and you'll see them start to render. It's got to pull them into PowerPoint. You can see down below here the, the progress bar that's going. So it's actually pulling those slides from the web. And here we go. We have, they're all uh, been brought front and center here. And you can see we have this presentation was automatically generated by Copilot based on content found in this document, gives a link to that. It then, as you go to each of these slides, so not table of content, executive summary, and it gives notes about it. It has the original content that it pulled that information from. It's all part of this consistent theme that's been laid out. Because we have sensitivity labels turned on here at Microsoft, it's automatically been labeled since it was a co-pilot uh, response. It's done that as, as well. And I have this thorough document that I can start from. In fact, I have a 35-page PowerPoint presentation done. I want to say that again, 35-page PowerPoint presentation done. Less than two minutes. So you can see the power of that. Even though we had that one little hiccup, hit retry and bam, here we are. So now that I have this, I might want to do some further work. So I'm going to come on up here and look back at these. And we've got a couple of different options around things, you know, creating a presentation. If I hit the view prompt, they have under edit, organize this presentation as an option. So I'm going to select that because I want it to organize the topics on the side, right? So everything sectioned, again, making it a little better uh, for presenting to people. And again, I might not even be doing this for me, it might be for someone else. So it's going through, it's doing that organization, and we're done. And so now you can see here at the top, it says introduction and overview. If I scroll down, and we can actually collapse that, there we go executive summary, and something else promises, uh, why now and what is Microsoft AI? And we have a number of different uh, topics that have been generated for our deck. So it's done that as well. It also added some slides, an executive summary and promise of AI, a why now and what is Microsoft doing? Um, and then it talks about the different slides. Again, these are a lot of these are per uh, area. So like why now? It made the topic, why now? And what is Microsoft doing? Made the slide to introduce that particular topic area and went through and did that for each of them. So done a great job. Here we go. But I wasn't making this for me. I was making it for somebody else. And now I want to go ahead and I want to summarize what's in this PowerPoint so I can drop that in an email or in a Teams message as I forward this to somebody else. So, you know, certainly we have the ability to come up here and we can look at, again, what are some of these things? I can add slides, slide about, et cetera. Can always hit the prompts, right? And so we have things like 
create a presentation, add a slide about. We've got the whole edit that we saw before. And we've got the ask, how can it help? Give me examples. But I also might want to come in, there's view more prompts. So get a head start, organize your data. How do I show key slides? Um, we'll just say, summarize this presentation. If I spell that right, there we go. And we're invoking that. So now it's going to look at my presentation. And it's providing a quick main ideas that I can drop in, you know, into a, a, a Teams message, into an Outlook, email, whatever the case might be, you know, much more condensed than what we had previously. It even has, if we click on there, four references cited as a part of it where it got information to generate it from. So that's nice. So now I have references. I have a summary I can drop and, and forward, a whole bunch of stuff that I can get done very quickly. So I've now generated two different ones. I've done some of the subsequent work we were talking about, but there is a third way to do this. And so here I have opened up a standard Microsoft presentation template. It says toolkit and it has, you can see a bunch of sample slides demonstrating the use. There's a lot, if I come in here, new slide, you'll see there are a lot of different slides that I can choose from within this given template. But we're gonna go ahead and select Copilot and say, create a presentation. I'll say, um, what do I want to say? Yeah, I'll use what we used before. So based off of our previous topic, it should start looking things over. Then it's going to say it wants to delete. See that? Create a new presentation will replace your existing slides. So these slides here are going to go bye-bye. But what we'll see, I'm going to say create a new draft. It's going to get rid of those template slides that were provided front and center. But it's going to keep all the slide themes and stuff under the hood for this template there. And it's going to generate a deck based off of that. Of course, once it's done that, here we go, It's we finished. Um, I can always come into any of these and just like you may have seen in the past, I can hit designer and it's gonna give me suggestions based upon templated slides that were a part of that underlying template. And so here are a number of them that I can choose from, choose from any of those and then do that for each slide if I'm not happy quite with the way it is. So templates can be used for branding. Three ways to create off of a template. Brand new one off of just a prompt from a generic look feel. And then finally off of an actual Word doc to create a presentation on existing content. So with that all in mind, let's come back over to here. Back to our deck. And we got a couple of resources. So I'll provide the links to these on frequently asked questions. Well, this is on Word. I have to update that. I forgot to update that for PowerPoint. We'll update that for the links that I give you. So don't worry. Um, you'll have the latest. But I wanted to thank everybody for tuning in today, looking at all that you can do in PowerPoint uh, with Copilot. It really... It Does it do everything today? No. Will it do more as time goes on? Absolutely. There's things I didn't show you that I'm able to do internally that I can't really show externally yet, but it is continuing to rapidly evolve to meet user needs, and you should look for that for you as well. But with that, till next time, when we look at Copilot in Excel, this is Mike Giannotti, bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.